Welcome to this course on Vintage Synth Explorations with the Roland plug outline of Software Synths. My name is Rishabh Rajan and I'm going to show you all that you need to know about these four software synths from Roland. Roland has a huge legacy when it comes to synthesizers. From their very first synth, the SH-1000 back in 1973, all the way to the System 1 synths from the IRA line of products. Roland has never really been known for making plugins, but with the introduction of the System 1, they finally ventured into the software synth domain with their plug-out technology. The four plug-out synths that we are going to look at in this course were developed to be used with the System 1 hardware. Now these synths are pretty unique. The idea is that you can simply transfer the plugin to the hardware and literally plug out of the computer, hence the name plug-out. The hardware will then contain the virtual emulation of the synth and can be used standalone without the use of a computer. Now having said that, you actually don't need to do that. In fact, even if you don't have the System 1 or the System 1M, you can still use these virtual emulations as normal plugins within your DAW. It's great that Roland gave us this option, so we don't really need to purchase the hardware to use these great synths. A little disclaimer about these plugins. They sound fantastic, but they do take up significant CPU cycles. So if you have a relatively older computer, you may notice issues. I'm sure over the months to come, Roland will fine tune the code so it sounds just as good, but with less of a CPU load. All right, now in the first of this series, we're going to look at the colorful SH-101. 